our marine engineering program. And this is the first class. This is the class of uh, introduction to marine engineering. This is the intro course. And uh, this is the welcome, the welcome class. Welcome to this uh, fascinating program. Uh, in this program, we are going to study the boat from the bottom of the boat into the flybridge. We are going to study all the systems inside of the boat. Yes, my friends, we are going to study electricity, electronics, engines, gasoline and diesel, sanitation system, freshwater system, hydraulic systems, uh, corrosion, composite materials. We are going to analyze the boat completely, completely, from the bottom bottom to the top, completely. And uh, we are going to study hard. And uh, if it's possible, if uh, you live in Florida, uh, we can do projects. If uh, you are outside of this country, you can enjoy my recommendations in order to do special projects in each, in each book, in each course. What is uh, the system that we are going to use uh, in this program? In this program, we have uh, the following classes. Those are the following courses included in this program, in the Marine Engineering program. We have uh, the intro class, intro to Marine Engineering class, that's the first one, intro to Marine Engineering. The second one is uh, basic electricity, at, as, after that is advanced electricity, electronics, auxiliary systems, air condition, gasoline engines, inboard and outboards, transmissions, marine transmission, inboard and outboards, diesel engine one, diesel engine two, corrosion and composite material. Yes, we have another additional course is about welding. This is uh, not mandatory welding. Those are all the courses included in this program, but uh, the basic courses are until composite materials. And uh, yes, we have uh, all the courses. You found that all of those courses in my webpage at uh, www.mrlopezclasses.com. You can take individual courses. You can buy separate courses and you can take uh, the quizzes the, the final exam and at the end you can receive the certification per each individual course if you want it. All right my friends, per each course, per each course we have uh, the test book, this test book, in this particular course is the Intro to Marine Engineering course uh, test book. You can buy the test book in my webpage, in my Facebook, uh, in uh, Amazon. If you are a student of uh, Broward College, you can buy uh, the test book in the bookstore of uh, the university. You can buy the test over there. If you are a student of uh, the West Palm Beach College, you can buy the, the book over there, or you can buy the book in Amazon or in the other in my web page. We are going to follow the test book per each class each of those classes, we are going to follow the test book and uh, the ABYC study guide specific per each course. What is the meaning of that? At the end of this program, we are going to take around seven or eight ABYC certifications in this way. When you finish, you need to take intro, basic electricity. When you finish advanced electricity, you are ready to take you are ready to take the electrical ABYC certification. Electrical ABYC certification. At the end of advanced electricity. Each course, each course is around uh, four weeks, 80 hours. And at the end of each course, you are ready to take the ABYC certificate. If you want it, this course is a good complement in order to take those certification. This is not part of the course. This is optional. If you want it, I am going to explain the procedure. You enter in the web page of ABYC, you register, and you take the course directly with ABYC. This course is a good complement. 
in order to take those ABYC certifications. All right? It is uh, it's not mandatory, but I recommend that uh, at the end of this program, you have minimum four certifications, four ABYC certifications. Right now, we are going to explain what is the meaning of that. Okay? All right. At the end of advanced electricity, you can take the electrical ABYC certification. At the end of auxiliary systems, you can take the systems systems ABYC certification. At the end of air condition, you can take the air condition and refrigeration certification ABYC. All of those are ABYC. ABYC, ABYC. At the end of gasoline, you can take the gasoline certification, ABYC certification. At the end of uh, diesel 2, you can take the diesel certification, diesel ABYC certification. At the end of corrosion, you can take the corrosion certification. At the end of composite material, you can take the composite material certification. Those are the certifications that you can take at the end of these classes. And at the end of electronics, we are going to take, if you wanted, the NEMA NMEA 2000 certification, that certification. That's optional, if you want it. But uh, at the end, at the end of this program, if you want it, you can take in your pocket those certifications. That's additional, it's not mandatory. I recommend in order to be a successful marine engineer that you try to take those certifications. Okay, how is the process to follow our courses, our classes? It's simple. We have basically the roadmap. The roadmap for each course is like this. This is the roadmap. I, I recommend per each day one or two episodes. In, if you are a student of Broward College, the episodes are available in D2L. In the platform D2L, you enter in D2L. As soon as you open your course, you, ha you have the option to, in the announcements, you found it, the roadmap. And you can follow the roadmap. If you check the content, you can check day per day, day per day, what episode is recommended. What episode is recommended. And also, you can check the quizzes and the projects and the laboratory per each chapter. We have basically one laboratory on Fridays, one laboratory per week. And we have one conference per week. The conference normally is on Wednesday. Wednesday at 2 p.m. Between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. we have a conference. In the conference, me and Professor Rodriguez, we are going to solve it questions related with the episodes of that week. And we are going to solve it real, real questions. And we are going to solve it ABYC questions related with that chapter. Each week, on Wednesday, we have a conference. Don't forget. And uh, each week, on Fridays, at 8 o'clock, in between 8 o'clock and 12, 12 p.m., we have a laboratory. We are going to meet in the laboratory in the building 90A of the South Campus in Broward College in Florida. We are going to meet over there in order to take the laboratory corresponding to uh, the chapter of that week. Each chapter, as you can see in the, in the roadmap, is composed by uh, one, two, three, or four episodes, depending on the chapter. You have uh, the chance, according with the roadmap, to see the episode one time, two times, three times, analyze the episode, and analyze the chapter corresponding to that episode in the book. At the end of each chapter, you have a quiz. The quiz is in the platform D2L. You can solve the quiz directly over there and submit the quiz and we receive the quiz. 
Yeah? At the end of each chapter, you have a quiz. Be careful because you have a special window. The window is normally 24 hours to solve the quiz and submit the quiz. If the window is closed, sorry, it's not possible to open or extend the window exclusive for you because you have a... Sorry, you need to be organized. You need to follow the roadmap and you don't have any problem. If you see, if you follow the roadmap, print the, follow, uh, the roadmap and keep the, uh, the roadmap in your DAX, in your car, in order to verify what is the episode available that day. Because if the window closed, the episode is closed and you don't have the option to see the episode later. For that reason, you need to be organized with the roadmap in order to see the videos. You have a long period of time to see the videos and a long, a long period of time to uh, do the quiz, the exam. Okay, you have one quiz per each chapter and uh, you have uh, the final exam at the end of a... Uh, of uh, the course and if you are uh, if you want it you can take the ABYC certification corresponding to that course in this particular course in intro we don't have ABYC certification at the end of this class we have the first ABYC certification at the end of, of advanced electricity in two months we can take the first ABYC certification the electrical ABYC certification right now no Right now, only the quizzes, the final exam, and the projects uh, related with this class, with this course. Okay, my friends, don't forget, this is the process. You have a every day one episode. You need to analyze the episode, repeat the episode, see the episode one time, two times, three times, copy a lot of questions, a lot of tips in each episode, and follow the book because the episodes follow the book, follow the chapters of the book. Don't forget, you can buy this book in the web page or in the bookstore of the Broward College, right? This is very, very important. Uh, we have a one conference per week, normally is on Wednesday. Uh, follow the roadmap, in the roadmap, you have uh, the schedule of the conference, the schedule of, uh, uh, of the laboratories and the quizzes and the exams. At the end of, uh, of uh, the, the last uh, final exam, we posted the grades in D2L and we start with the next class, with a, a, a basic electricity is the next coming class. We don't have a relax in between one class and the other one. One day finish one course and the next day start the next course. Each course is four weeks. In four weeks, this course finish and start the next week, uh, the next course basic electricity and as after that start advanced electricity and after that start electronics. We have basically four courses per semester. In this semester you take intro, basic electricity, advanced electricity and electronics. And uh, at the end of this semester you can take in your pocket one ABYC certification, the electrical and one NEMA certification for electronics, if you want it. It's optional, it's not mandatory. I'm going to explain later the procedure to register in ABYC, the procedure to register in NEMA in order to take those certifications. It's not complicated, it's simple, it's uh, only your decision if you want to take those specific certifications. All right, uh, the videos, the videos are uh, wonderful videos with uh, a lot of uh, information a lot of uh, tips, uh, the majority of the videos, uh, we have uh, uh, Mr. Rodriguez and me, we prepare a lot of uh, material, a lot of uh, uh, projects, uh, uh, a lot of uh, real uh, scenarios uh, in the marina of Mr. Rodriguez, uh, in other marinas, in the laboratory of, uh, of, uh, of uh, our school, and uh, you have a good scenario uh, to solve it, uh, questions and to learn. Uh, I have a three, three years uh, of experience uh, teaching, teaching um, uh, mechanical engineering classes, and uh, believe me, uh, this uh, this method with the, uh, these videos is excellent because you have a, a lot of material in your hands. 
uh, you have uh, the book, uh, you have uh, the ABYC study guide, and uh, the video is uh, accomplished of uh, a lot of uh, tips, recommendations, and a lot of uh, valuable uh, experience. I hope you enjoy the videos, you enjoy the course, you enjoy the programs. Don't forget, you can buy the books in my webpage, you can buy the books in Facebook, uh, my, fa my Facebook is mrlopezclasset.com and uh, in, if you are a student of Broward College in the in the bookstore of the Broward College in South Campus, you can buy the textbook if you have financial aid. Welcome to the new Marine program and welcome to this class, the Marine Introduction to Engineering class. Thank you.